Hello guys, this is Matrix Ray, and I'm showing you some resolution comparisons between native 1440p and native PS2. We're going to be doing some frame rate testing, and we're also going to show you the best settings for, uh, what's it called, uh, Spy vs Spy. Okay, so we are using large frame buffer, custom resolution of native 1440p, building a PS2, anisotropic filtering, map mapping, is off, you do not need it for Spy vs Spy. Full safest, um, configure hacks. Now, you might not believe me here, but um, <laughs> a lot of games are demanding on PTSX2, and Spy vs Spy just tested it just before. I'm easily hitting the, um, the stable uh, 30 FPS for Spy vs Spy, the game targets 30 FPS, and I'm not even dropping a single frame. So I'm running 16 times MSAA, which is basically what it does is it eliminates all the jaggies, you know, all the little stair, the stair steps on the outlines of like everything in the game, like poles or fences and everything. Um, and you won't find it in this video. You shouldn't find any video. Um, shouldn't find any jaggies on hardware mode on this video in 1440p. We've got FXAA to blur it on top of that. And uh, yeah, let's quickly show you the last thing. Now, as you see, you do not need MTVU turned on at all. I tested MSAA times 16 at native 1440p with that off, and it, no frame rate drops. This is, you don't really need MTVU for Spy vs. Spy. This is probably the best running game on the PCSX2 I've ever played. I've never had a game run higher than four times MSAA without any drops. So, this is extremely not recommended. That's how much it's not recommended. It's extremely not uh, recommended. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to native PS2. And as you see, this game runs at a native uh, 512 by 448. That's dimensions for the native PS2. Now let's have a quick look at the software mode on this game. Now my frame count is on the top left. It should, should be over there for you guys. Um, it says it's 60 frames, but this game does not target 60 frames. This game targets 30 frames. So we're just going to buy a gun. So this is uh, Nature PS2. As you guys see, there are loads of shimmering on the screen. Loads of jaggies, same thing. Uh, very, very blurry. As you can see, if you look at the um, the white the, um, the white picture over there, you know, the, the uh, Spy vs. Spy guy, yeah, you can barely see it. But once I go to, once I go to Native 1440p, as you guys see, you can you can see everything. You can see all the detail with um with all the uh, edges over on the picture of um him, the white guy carrying the bomb. So it's <laughs> it's so clean. So that's the beauty of native 1440p on this game. Now here's the frame rate testing on native 1440p. So as you guys see, um I will flip back to native PS2 in a few moments, but I'm just running around just to show you for a little bit. Uh, just I set up a game here just so um yeah I can't die I turned on a cheat just so I don't uh, die in this presentation which is fine by me anyway as you see there is no frame rate drops at all I'm looking around and everything nothing's going down let's go back over again so we're gonna go back to uh, native PS2 and uh, this is what we have. Uh, I don't even think, no, this is software mode, which is native PS2, and I don't see any frame rate drops. It's looking pretty steady, 30 frames. But uh, other than that, I got, apparently, no, I must have not picked up that gun, must have disappeared. Uh, anyway, so this is uh, native PS2. You see that towel right up there? Uh, just move like this, here we go. As you see, look at all these, um, look at all the, uh, the jaggies on that tower. Now, when I go back over again to 1440p, we will see that there is no jaggies. When I move slowly to the left or right, uh, it is a bit of uh, frame stuttering, as you see, because it's 30 frames. It doesn't look smooth, but you won't find any jaggies from even far distance in this game. But other than that, MSAA is not recommended for this game. If you do have uh, software issues on this game, if you can't run it properly, which is, you know, that would surprise me a lot if you cannot run it. But other than that, this is pretty much Spy vs Spy on the PTSX2. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys later. Thank you for watching.